um, what we're gonna do now is go to the layers um, and go all the way down until you find your black background you can uh, click on this little eye right here so you turn it off that it takes a while because it needs to render all these layers uh, now you can go to and I think it is in I don't know where it is uh, let me just search for a while while yeah it's in a layer and you got merge visible or also press shift control E and I'm a fan of shortcuts so let's do that shift control E so it will take a while and now I have layer 3 copy 101 what he did now is um, transform off or just put all the layers that you made before together to form one layer so we now got only two layers instead of 101 uh, now b you should want some color in this because it's not this is not very exciting uh, press ctrl shift n to create a new one and you get another transparent layer and go to the gradient tool again and set the colors to something that you would like I recommend just don't overdo it or something just keep it pretty basic uh, I particularly like uh, something like big dark green and something blue against it and why those dark colors it's not the most um, exciting color but as you will soon see the colors in this picture will be a lot clearer than you had in mind so just work it doesn't work and I know why because I haven't deselected it yet uh, in my case I forgot to des deselect the uh, selection so let's do that first and go to gradient again if you made the same mistake as I did and then apply the gradient and you can notice that um, something went wrong again let's do this again okay at this point we um, put all the layers together that we just made so instead of having 101 layers we just have two of them one is the blob which is now something weird tunnel like -y thing and one is the background uh, what you obviously want some color in this so press uh, shift control shift new of or sorry control shift n to open up a new layer or you can just go to layer and new and then layer uh, now go, go to the gradient tool and you shouldn't overdo this with colors I selected a pretty dark green and a pretty dark uh, blue to keep it simple uh, so I'm not going to uh, apply it well, this is not what you had in mind obviously so you can double click it and you have blend mode you can turn this one to color it's uh, nearly at the bottom and you can see that um, well, the blob gets the color you picked it picked. also you can um, change the blending mode over here which is, which is a lot faster now you can just mess around with those things and um, you can even uh, change the background to something more interesting because this is not very exciting I like dark purple and pictures kind like these and so we do something like brown or something well, you can see that you uh, have something now but as you can see uh, as soon as I apply this one you can see that it's just a lot more color to it you can save this one of course and uh, that's what you want to do so let's uh, save it well you know the rest of it and you can just uh, experiment with this instead of making a four leg blob you can also give it three legs or whatever you want uh, I won't recommend two legs because I didn't try that but it can be too pretty so I hope you guys have fun with this and uh, send me your results I'm uh, curious